Last week was an incredibly overwhelmingly harsh week. Lots of things. Lots of serious things. It got to be so much that uh, I wound up going down to Milroy and uh, sleeping in the truck. I went to the old iron bridge that um, that was my my hap one of my happy places in Milroy. Outside of the home <laughs> that was the happy place for me. And it's for a lot of kids in Milroy. Old iron bridge with wooden panels that when you um, go over it, the boards would go boom, boom. And it kind of became a heartbeat that all of us, I imagine the adults too, you could always hear that boom, boom. And uh, I would sit on the bridge, mostly under the bridge. There was a deep spot right there, so. You could wade out and play or fish. <laughs> That's what we called it, fishing. Um, but it was, a lot of stories were written there and daydreams as a kid. I wound up there at that bridge. Now it's a bridge closed. Old, abandoned, falling apart bridge. It seemed kind of appropriate for me to wind up there. Um, I backed up, dropped the tailgate, took out my sleeping bag and pillow, and just sat in the back, just like this. I had the laptop going, hoping I could... But that was not... Ow! <laughs> All right, that's my fault. I have been rubbing your rhubarb, sorry. Oh, you old shithead. I got there about 6.30. And I just sat in the back of that truck. And I kept expecting somebody to... Because there I am. The bridge is right here. I should have took a picture of it. But I backed up. And I, I kept thinking... Yeah, somebody's going to show up here, either with the big pretty blue lights, Big Brother or whatnot, or somebody, asking me what I was doing. And I even checked to make sure that there was no, tr you know, there was no, no trespass. That's hard to say. There was no, no trespassing signs <laughs> anywhere, but it seemed I was still good to go because we used to park there and fish and stuff. But anyway, nobody showed up, and I was grateful for that. I just kept going, please just let me sit here and nobody bother me. I Just please. And I did a lot of uh, thinking, a lot of crying, a lot of thinking, a lot of crying. <laughs> and um, I stayed all night. I just sat there. Eventually I fell asleep and it even started raining, but I didn't care. I had the important stuff in the front seat. Ow. And, um, ow. Ah. Ah. Since I've came back, a lot of new triggers have happened. I think a part of me always hoped when I went to the desert and, you know, dealt with all the old triggers and um, I found a balance with that life. I kind of was hoping that would be it. I was wrong. <laughs> Man, was I fucking wrong. Um, I held off going 
come back to Milroy. Because I think deep down my subconscious or some voice that is actually... I don't know. But I think it, that subconscious voice thingy knew that when I went back down to Milroy and decided to start writing again, there's going to be a floodgates of new shit. <laughs> Fuck. I should have listened to it. Or maybe it was just giving me a warning like, Hey, Scooter, we got to do this, but I'm just giving you a heads up. <laughs> this shit's going to hurt. And it did. Fuck me, it still hurts. Still hurting. It's like a big old wave of hurting that just keeps crashing into me. How's that for a song? It's like a big old wave of hurting that just keeps crashing into me. I don't know what I'm playing here, but it's, you know, a thing. And that's the truth. It is like a, I could probably add title. It's a big old tidal wave. Nah, it didn't sound right. It's a big old wave of hurting. And it is. But you have to deal with it. It's a wave, a tide. It's the ocean. It's not going to stop. So either you need to back up so that the wave does not get you. Or learn how to swim. I don't know how to do either at this point. I always brag. and It is bragging. Because I try to be in the middle. And stay zen in the middle. Sometimes the waves go this way. Sometimes they go this way. But I only, you know... <laughs> But in the end, I try to be in the middle. Because that's where I feel that is the true me. From everything I've experienced and seen, this is where we are supposed to be. Which is really hard to stay in that place. Especially when big tides of hurt come. <laughs> it's a... For all of you out there, this is the symbol for a big tide of hurt. Or the letter what's that, C? I don't know. It's real early. <sighs> the bridge. I thought it was appropriate that I now find my safe place again down in a abandoned, falling apart old iron bridge that nobody cares about anymore. <laughs> But I do. I love that little place. And I'll keep going down there. And I'll park the truck and drop the tailgate. I don't do anything wrong. I'm just sitting there. It's not like I'm the old Dana naked doing stupid shit. Because <laughs> that's what I did. Don't get me wrong. I'll probably still get naked and do stupid shit. Because it's fun. But this isn't the time. When I sat there, I literally just kept saying out loud as I looked around at all the trees and watched the slow river. Okay, I'm here. I don't know why, but obviously I'm supposed to be here. So please let me know what the hell I'm here for. <laughs> and I'll go down there again and say the same thing. And I'll have the notes and the journals. And memories and tidal waves are going to hit me. And I got nothing there. <laughs> I got nothing. I got a sleeping kitty. Y'all can ow, see it there. Mm, ha, ha. There's a thing that happens that I have to deal with. The boot to the head. Boot to the head. Na, 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 na. That's not it. It's the opposite of happy boot to the head song. One of the, I guess, finger to the trigger is uh, that uh, kid's boot to the head that kept kicking the shit out of me. I don't know if I'm fighting the memories or if the memories are trying to come out. 
that I can't control right now. When things hit me, it literally feels like that boot is kicking me right in the head. And man, sometimes it has done it so hard that it's almost knocked me out where I kind of come to on the floor and covered in sweat. I don't know what that is. But I got to deal with that. And the bridge has something to do with it. I don't know what. <laughs> but right now I can't type or write. And I got to get this story out. And why? What was that noise? Did you all hear that? Because the cat's right here. See, I don't know which is the real world and which is not the real world anymore. That could have been a flashback. That could have been somebody's breaking into the house. That's a scary thing right now. When those flashbacks and that boot hits me, I can go right back to smelling the dog shit on that boot and tasting the blood in my mouth. I could hear those kids laughing as they held me down. And then I look this way, that way, that way. Trying to shake it off, thinking, nope, I'm okay. I'm sitting here with a purring kitten and a wonderful safe home. But boy, it's right there. I'm right in the middle. That is a terrifying thing. Well, I should go find out what that noise is. Because I was loud. Might be my pest. That I need to think about. Or it might be a big old raccoon or something. Man, but this is my way of telling the story right now. These hands won't let me type, so I have to speak. The Bard of Broken Hearts, signing out.